in a world where programming AI agents requires hours, days, even weeks spent learning new languages, installing new frameworks, and trying to find a pharmacist who doesn't ask questions, there's a faint glimmer of hope on the horizon. The first four tabs on the new Auto Grok interface have one-to-many relationships left to right. A project can contain several workflows, which contain agents, which contain tools. Your default provider and model is set up under the Settings tab. The debug content is categorized by session variables. File management is where we, you know, manage files, and discussion is pretty self-explanatory, too. Projects, workflows, agents, and tools are the meat and potatoes of Autogrok. So we'll start there by asking AI to create a simple accounting app for us. You'll see that our refactored prompt is stored at the project level for us, along with fields for a number of other top level properties. Let's rename our project. We'll need a workflow too. And the AI has already made one for us, just need to rename it. Here's where things get interesting. I'm not sure other agent frameworks are taking a multi-workflow approach, but we can. Imagine if we make the bookkeeping facet of our accounting app separate and distinct from the number crunching workflow. Making these operations more granular and focused has a ton of advantages. They could run independently of each other or even simultaneously. The bookkeeping workflow could be incorporated into a payroll project or a personal banking ledger. Ideally, Autogrok will do for AI agents what the Lego Corporation did for the toy industry by allowing us to build whatever we want by... Ooh, I freaking love Legos. My point is... Can we build a Death Star? I want to build a Death Star. Maybe after your nap. Anyway, you get the idea. Agents are members of workflows and tools are members of agents. Similar to the old Autogrok, agents appear as buttons in our sidebar that you can interact with. Settings, we talked about earlier. Under Debug, we see that a bunch of session properties have been created. There's a ton of info on each, nicely formatted to give us a great perspective on the behind-the-scenes architecture of our object models and their relationships to one another. I'm very happy with how this component turned out. Yes, we're all so proud of you. Nap! Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Our last tab is the Discussion tab, and you're familiar with that. Next is the File Management tab, where we can edit and delete individual YAML and JSON files. Based on the feedback I've been getting, I'll probably phase out the YAML stuff. It's probably an unnecessary intermediate step. Our last tab is the Discussion tab, and you're familiar with that. Anyway, that's the status of our revised version 2 ultramodular super upgrade to Auto Grok. It's shaping up to be and to do everything I imagined, everything I wanted. There's just one more thing I wanted to let you know, and it's kind of important. I f***ing hate it. That's uh, not your best sales pitch there, Sparky. I just do. I hate the interface. I hate having to click all over the place. I've never been a GUI guy. Plus, the auto grok with a K thing is stupid. Auto grok with a Q has all kinds of momentum and recognition. Now who needs a nap? I mean, what was I thinking? Sure, I like the enhanced debug feature and the one-to-many top-to-bottom architecture rocks. But this rebranding and new interface gotta go. They suck. How come you get mad at me for saying you suck? That's not your job. I have a wife for that. Okay, so what's your plan, boss man? What I'll do is take the stuff I like in the new architecture and incorporate it into the original Autogrok GUI. People love the original Autogrok. This Autogrok with a K site will continue to be my online sandbox. Streamlit apps often act differently online than they do locally, so we need this resource. So you're gonna dance with the girl that brung you? In a manner of speaking, I suppose. Ride out on the horse you rode in on. Enough with the analogies. Swimming upstream to spawn. That one doesn't even make sense.